The purpose of this video is to show how we can transfer bill of material and item information from source material created in SOLIDWORKS into Microsoft Dynamics Great Plains. We are using Microsoft Dynamics Great Plains version 10. And as you see, I'm going to go into the inventory section here and we're going to uh, look at some items. And uh, the items that we're working on in SOLIDWORKS actually start with a 102. It's a new series part number that we're going to create in the system. And as you can see, as I scroll down inside of Microsoft Dynamics, you can see there's a 101 line, uh, but it ends there. And then we're also going to go into the bill of material section inside of Dynamics. And here's some uh, a filter list of our bill of material. And you can see there's also a 101 there, but the 102 does not exist. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into SOLIDWORKS. We're going to finish our design, which is using a new uh, 102 series numbers. As you can see there on the right side, they're 102 dash 0752 is one of the parts, 0627 is the top level of assembly. Once the design is complete in SOLIDWORKS, we're going to save it and check it into PDMWorks Enterprise. And then we're going to submit the assembly as well as the items uh, for approval. And then once they're approved, they're going to be an automatic transition to submit the, the information into Microsoft Dynamics. Uh, to submit them for approval, we simply just have to go back to the Windows Explorer desktop. You can see the assembly and the parts in the folder list. And then we just need to right click on the assembly, issue a change state command, and then we're going to submit that for approval. Uh, what this will do is it'll email management, let them know that there is a uh, file to review, um, as well as change the security on the files so that nobody can change them while they're in pending approval state. Inside of PDMWorks Enterprise, we can also interrogate the assembly in, in more detail. We can go to the Bill of Materials section and review the Bill of Material inside of PDMWorks Enterprise. And in here, you'll be able to see the part number, revision, description, the name of the SOLIDWORKS model. Um, we can also interrogate the assembly and the parts more in detail by going to the file data card, where we can see the number there as well, um, also for the assembly. Uh, the description information or any other attribute that you want to track inside of SOLIDWORKS will then be tracked inside of this data card. Once we're ready to submit it for approval, we just right click and change state approve. And the assembly and all of its children are approved. Upon the approval, an XML file or transfer file is created in a common folder, which is watched by the ERP import tool. The import tool looks at this information, which is in the form of an XML, and converts it into items and bill of material information inside Microsoft Dynamics. As you can see, as we open the XML file, you can see it contains the part number information, description, quantities, which are listed as reference counts, um, as well as the SOLIDWORKS file name. Once the XML file is imported, the file itself is archived and that information is now inside of Microsoft Dynamics. So we're going to refresh our bill of material filtered list. And you're going to see as I scroll down, there's now a 102 number bill of material inside of uh, Dynamics. Click on the link down here to open it up. And you can see the structure that once existed or once started inside of SOLIDWORKS. The quantities are there, the descriptions are there. So effectively, the work that you began in SOLIDWORKS is now brought into Great Plains within a matter of minutes, saving all the time it takes to manually enter that data into the ERP system. Uh, once it's in here, we can actually uh, edit it um, just as if it had been created from, from scratch inside of Microsoft Dynamics. So it is an item that is fully controlled by the Microsoft Dynamics interface at this point.